data is an asset that every organization needs, but oftentimes struggles with how to get the full value out of it. But what exactly is data management? Why is it so important to organizations, especially in today's day and age? That's what I want to talk about here today. My name is Eric Kimberling. I'm the CEO of Third Stage Consulting. We're an independent consulting firm that helps clients throughout the world with their digital transformation journeys. And one of the common work streams we help clients with when we're helping them through their digital transformations is data migration. And we help clients figure out how they're going to cleanse their data, map it to the new systems, and ultimately get the data over to the new system, test it, train people on it, and ultimately get value out of it. But data management is one of those areas that a lot of organizations struggle with. And especially in today's day and age with the advent of AI and machine learning and things that really depend on good data, it's more important than ever that you handle data management well and that you have solid data governance and data management practices in place. So data is a differentiator. It's something that is an asset to the company. And it's something that really fuels the business value of these new emerging technologies. So what I want to do today is talk about why data management is so important and how you can incorporate that work stream into your digital transformation. Before we dive too far into today's content, I want to invite you to learn a little bit more about Third Stage Consulting, who we are and what we do. I've included a link to a video right here that describes Third Stage in a bit more detail. It talks about our story, our history, our philosophy, our clients, our service offerings, and that sort of thing. But in general, what Third Stage Consulting does is we're an independent and tech agnostic consulting provider. We help clients through their entire digital transformation life cycles, beginning with digital strategy, software evaluation and selection, all the way through and including implementation planning, implementation readiness, and the actual implementation itself. We're technology agnostic, so we only represent our clients' best interests. We do not represent software vendors. But having said that, we work very closely with software vendors, all the leading players that you can imagine we've worked with, both in helping clients evaluate and select them, but also in helping clients implement those solutions as well. So we have a very broad, objective, agnostic view of the market that is meant to really represent your interest as you go through your digital transformation. I also encourage you to scan this QR code right here to get access to our resource center. This resource center has a ton of information, a ton of eBooks that are free. You have access to top 10 software rankings, playbooks for how to make your project more successful, guides to change management, YouTube videos, all kinds of stuff that are gonna help you through your digital transformation. So I encourage you to scan this QR code to get access to those resources. And please feel free to reach out to me directly to brainstorm ideas about your project. Even if it's just informally, you want to bounce around some ideas and get some informal advice, I'd be happy to spend some time with you. So feel free to reach out to me. I've included my contact information below. You can also find it in the description field of this video as well. The first reason why data management and data in general is so important is because today's business intelligence and analytics is highly dependent on clean data. So an organization that has dirty data or data that's inaccurate is going to also have analytics and outputs and business intelligence that is also inaccurate. So with the advent of analytics and the increasing value of analytics, including, by the way, predictive analytics that helps predict the future, it's more important than ever that organizations have clean data. And this is why so many organizations focus their efforts during digital transformation on cleaning up their data getting rid of the duplicate data, making sure they've got solid master data in place, and getting all that in place before they move it over to their new modern ERP systems or whatever technologies they might be deploying. So in order to get the full value out of analytics and business intelligence, it's more important than ever that organizations have clean data and data governance to support that. Now we talked about why data is so important for analytics and business intelligence. That's sort of the traditional reporting view of the world where you go in, you run a report and you get an output that's based on what you hope is solid, accurate data. But if we take that concept one step further and start to look at even more modern emerging technologies like artificial intelligence and machine learning, for example, it becomes even more imperative that we have solid data governance in place. If you think about what AI needs to be successful to make sense of data and to give recommendations that humans might have manually done in the past, AI algorithms need good data and they crave data. So the better data and the higher volumes of data we can give these AI algorithms that are being baked into modern technologies, the more value we're gonna get out of it 
and the more advanced we're going to be as an organization. So in order to, to take full advantage of artificial intelligence and machine learning and some other emerging technologies, it's more important than ever that we have solid data management practices and processes in place. There's a popular trend and concept in the world today called Industry 4.0. There's also something called Internet of Things or IoT. These are two very interrelated, supplementary sorts of concepts. And essentially what these two trends point to is the modernization and the automation and the data collection within today's modern factory. Now I have a YouTube video on my channel that talks about what is Industry 4.0. You can find that video right here if you wanna dive more into what is Industry 4.0 and what does it mean to your organization. So check out this video here if you wanna dive into it. But in general, what it means is that organizations are more than ever capturing data on the manufacturing shop floor and warehouses even out in trucks, when trucks are taking products and distributing them to customers, even customers themselves are capturing data on their side of things. There's just been a proliferation of how much data is being captured by organizations throughout a supply chain, throughout a manufacturing facility, throughout a warehouse. And what that's doing is it's creating an opportunity for us to collect that data and to make sense of it. But again, in order to make good sense of it, we have to know what to do with the data. We have to make sure the data is accurate. We have to have solid data governance and data management in place. So this is another reason why data management is more important than ever, is just proliferation of data from a bunch of different sources throughout the supply chain of most organizations. So for that reason, you want to make sure you have solid data governance to support Internet of Things, Industry 4.0, and some of these other trends that we're seeing in the marketplace. Now, one of the hidden game changers with artificial intelligence and data collection in general is the movement to the cloud. So in other words, as more organizations move their applications and their data sets to the cloud, that's giving software vendors and tech companies access to that data if you let them, if you give them permission to use the data. It's giving them access to be able to model their algorithms based on a larger subset of data. So for example, if I'm an ERP software vendor and I have 10,000 customers that are all hosting their applications in the cloud and they're capturing their data in the cloud. And if they give me permission to access that, or at least for my AI algorithm to access that data, now suddenly I'm smarter as an AI algorithm. I have all these different data sets from 10,000 different customers, which is just a mass amount of data that's just gonna make AI more valuable to more organizations. So again, with this proliferation of AI and the advancements in emerging technologies like AI, combined with the fact that we have this cloud migration or these companies that are moving to the cloud at a breakneck speed, now you can see how this all comes together to put even more significance and importance on data management and data governance. Now there's two parts of data governance and data management. One is the actual data itself that you move over to a new system, or if you're gonna keep it in the same system, how you clean up that data and make sure the data is accurate. That's one piece of it. But then when you go into production and people start touching the data and using it day to day within the system, the question becomes, how do you ensure that the data stays accurate and that humans don't interfere and disrupt or corrupt the data? And that's the million dollar question. So it's not only cleaning up the data, moving the data over in a cleansed kind of a way, it's also making sure that you have internal controls and processes that ensure that people don't corrupt the data. And you can do this through security profiles, making sure that only certain people can access or touch the data. You can do it through centralization of data management so that only certain groups or certain individuals within the organization can create master data or make changes to master data. Those are just a couple examples of data governance processes that you want to have in place. And then a third one would be any step along the way that's touching data or impacting or interfacing with data you wanna make sure you have clearly defined processes and operating procedures to ensure that people are well-trained and well-versed on what they need to do to contribute to clean data and protecting this important company asset. So when you're thinking about data governance and data management, it's important to not only think about the data itself, but also the processes and the human interaction with the data to ensure that it stays clean and it's providing the maximum amount of value to your organization. So I hope this has given you some insights and guidance and some things to think about as you think about your digital transformation and how data fits within it. And more importantly, help you figure out how you might get more value out of this important company asset, which by the way, data doesn't show up on a company balance sheet. It oftentimes isn't viewed as a formal company asset, but it's becoming increasingly more important as time goes on for the reasons I mentioned in this video, 
Not to mention the fact that data is oftentimes the key point of tribal knowledge that's being consolidated into technology. So I hope this has helped to provide some guidance. If you'd like to learn more about digital transformation, best practices and lessons, I encourage you to download our 2024 digital transformation report. It's a report we publish each year that contains a number of best practices and lessons and industry trends, independent software reviews and rankings and that sort of thing. You can download that by scanning the QR code in front of you or you can go to the links below. So I hope you found this information useful and hope you have a great day. Reorganization thrives on, nope.